Carl Bradshaw from Shopper Motorsports, and here on the table we have the brand new Liette lineup for 2018. Super exciting. We have Max here from Liette, and he has the array of the 2.5, 4.5, and 5.5 upper body protection here on the table. He's going to run through his features and benefits of these units. Now, Max, we know Liette from neck braces. I mean, you guys are the leader in the industry when it comes to neck braces, and now we have body protection. Why is this stuff so important? Yeah, we've had neck protection for quite some time, uh, but we also do a handful of other items, including upper body protection like these chest protectors here. Um, and we have different levels of chest protection depending on what kind of riding and how, I guess, how well you want to be protected. So traditionally, a dirt bike guy thinks chest protection of a roost guard. So basically a piece of plastic that you put over your jersey that keeps you protected from rocks pelting you. And if you go down, you're sliding on something that's that's hard and, and not tearing up your body. So how does a roost protector vary or differ from the items you have here on the table? Correct, so a roost deflection or any impact um, is based, based on how much weight it can take. Okay. Um, so we have our lightweight 2.5 chest protector here that's actually CE rated for roost. But then you step up to, let's say, just our 5.5 Pro HD, which is impact uh, level tested CE level two, which means it can take a higher weight, a higher amount of impact and, and still withstand that weight. So wait, you mean like a body or a bike or something like that hitting you versus a rock thrown up from a tire? Well, a rock could, you know, impact you pretty <laughs> well. But yes, um, a tree branch, a bike, okay. a body falling onto something unknown, uh, how much weight, how much force that chest protector can actually take is based on the how it's built and the level of protection that, that it qualifies for, I guess. Interesting. So level one protection here. How about the 4.5? So this is actually CE rated for roost. It's not technically even level one. Okay. Uh, there's three levels. First one is entry level. Second one is level one. Okay. Uh, and then these two are actually qualified for level two. Differences between the 4.5 and the 5.5 Pro HD. First thing you can notice, it's, uh, it's a little bigger. It's a little heavier duty. has shoulders, has flank protection, um, and actually gives you a little bit more back protection. But still, both are level two. Super. So and that's really the big difference between these and some of the other units on the market is the fact that these are rated for impact, not just roost. Correct. Now help me out here, Max. I have been riding motorcycles for a long time, and on the dirt bike I wear a roost, a roost guard um, from a different manufacturer. I didn't know that this type of protection was really there for a long time. Why would you want to go this route? Or what makes these units different than something like that? More protection, but also mostly a you know a better quality product that can withstand taking that impact. Dude, good good thing you say that. So I've been down a couple times really really hard on some of my other ones, and have like either ripped off shoulders or shattered the actual front chest plate. Right. That's something you're not going to get with these, right? Well, that's because when you went down and hit the chest plate, it's not actually tested for that much force. Okay. Which is where the difference in uh, levels comes here again. A, the higher the number for us, like for example, the 5.5 Pro HD means it can withstand more force and more weight than, let's say, a 2.5 or just another roost guard, which is basically designed for just taking roost and, and deflecting it off your body. Interesting. So as far as the guards here on the table goes, what are some of the differences you're going to see as far as wearability between them? So the 2.5 is our lightweight, low price point, more or less roost deflector. It's a 2.5 for basically we have a number system. The higher the number, the means more, more protection, um, but it also usually means heavier duty, more weight, uh, more weight on your body, but you'll, you're covered. So someone who is more of a motocrosser would wear the 2.5, uh, just want something lightweight, uh, you know, not bulky, still nimble. Okay. Um, whereas if you're more of a woods rider or more of a desert rider, that's who usually buys the 5.5 Pro HD. Um, you got a little bit more protection from from the wilderness, you got a little more deflection if, let's say, you came up on some rocks or some trees or roots or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, all are designed to work with the neck brace. Uh, so you can see kind of here, it is indented uh, out. So the neck brace will sit as close to the body as possible. Perfect. Um, you do have some options similar on the heavier duty ones to where the neck brace can go underneath the the chest protector down in here, okay. um, or even you can remove some pieces to make it a little, a little easier, a little better fit. Beautiful. 
So I know that the Liette neck brace itself has some brace on functionality where you can actually attach the brace to a jacket or something like that. It looks like these red tabs up here are showing you exactly how that works as far as with your neck brace? Correct, correct. The neck brace comes with shoulder straps, but if you didn't want to wear those, uh, the brace on system here is just an elastic band that comes up and sits over the top of the shoulder of the neck brace and keeps it supported close to your body so it doesn't float around. Well, there you have it. The 2018 lineup of Liette chest or upper body protection. Thanks for joining us, Match. We really appreciate you. If you're curious about the other Liette products that we've recorded as well, please take a look at our YouTube channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe to these videos so you get all of the latest and greatest info that we're pushing out to you, the consumer. I'm Kyle from Chaparral Motorsports. Until next time, take care and ride safe.